Hey fans, wait, that's Chris Carnage's line. Here I am, trying to fill in for Chris Carnage, who's out on assignment. I'm Everly, welcome to this episode of Afterburn, your weekly recap show covering the matches that come out every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific, right here on Riot Pro Wrestling's YouTube. And new episodes of Afterburn comes out every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, right here on Riot Pro Wrestling's YouTube. This week, we're going to take a look at JD and Vertigo versus the Wolves of Odin. JD has been battling the Pyramid for the last few months here at Riot Pro Wrestling. We've seen people align themselves with JD to try to take down the Pyramid, but when JD has gotten to higher ground in his battle, He's been knocked back down with trying to climb back to the top. Virgo has had his fair share with the Pyramid with battling Sean Scott and his up and down relationship with D. Ramos. But now their paths have crossed in their own battle with the Pyramid. Will JD and Vertigo be able to put their egos aside and try to work together? Meanwhile, the Wolves of Odin have been making a climb up in the tag team division with also James Wolf and Ethan Olsen having singles runs as now becoming number one contenders for the Riot Tag Team Championships. Yeah, Wolves of Odin, they've been on a roll. They've had wins in single competition. James Wolf, Ethan Olsen have been knocking out, having matches. They win some, they lose some. That's just how it is. But JD and Vertigo... They've been going back and forth with the Pyramid, battling that. And Vertigo, with his relationship with D. Ramos, it's an unusual up-and-down relationship with them because they both run up the roads together. They've been in promotions together. Here they are at Riot Pro Wrestling. What do you think is going to happen? JD, on the other hand, he's had his fair share of what's going on with Mr. Showtime in the Pyramid. And, of course, Chris Carnage. Of course, what he would say is, I am just, I need my eyes checked. But when it comes down to it, JD and Vertigo's paths finally did cross in their battle against the Pyramid. And you think anything's going to happen? I don't know. But let's take a look at the closing moments of this matchup. Here we go. Tag from, to James Wolf. James Wolf coming in and delivering a huge kick. Oh, another! Oh, now just beating down JD. I don't. I really don't know how much more he can take. Ah, he's he's getting beat down, and this in and out tags and just the double work, double team tactics is helping. Him. Oh, oh no! Maybe not enough as JD just hoists up James Wolf. Oh, oh, and has enough strength to throw him on his shoulder, but James Wolf falls behind into another submission. He's got him right there where he wants him, Chris. JD cannot break out. He has that locked in. He's going to put JD to sleep. The JD looking like he's losing a little bit of steam, trying to figure a way out, trying to dig deep. Now reaching out. Could just be reaching for stars, not sure. Oh, but JD oh, no. reverses it. Oh, it's oh. a big back body drop. Both men now down in the ring. You got a double down there, but oh, look at that. Oh, cover. Ref checking. Wait. No. What? Again, James Wolf pivoting, going into another submission, working the head of JD. He's using that guillotine. He's going to take his head off there, Chris, and use it for bowling. I mean, he might, but JD gets to his feet. Another tag by Ethan Olsen. Oh, is that now Bo the Wolves of Odin working the double team? Uh oh. 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 Look at that. Here we go. What's what's going to happen here, Chris? Well, the Wolves of Odin oh, still no. can't get that, that double suplex on JD. Oh no. Oh! JD just powering over the Wolves of Odin. Wow. That strength there. Knock the Wolves out. The Wolves need to get up and need to cut yourselves. Well, this could be the opening JD needs as he's crawling to the corner, trying to get that tag to, to a fresh vertigo. 
Oh, and he oh, no. gets it. Vertigo now coming in. Oh, oh, huge double clothesline. Vertigo feeling it. Oh, no. Now willing it forward as he delivers a huge strike to Olsen. Oh. Another one to Wolf. Oh, the oh, crowd man. feeling it. Oh, oh Olsen no, trying to no, run no, in. No. Vertigo runs in into Wolf. Oh, oh what's this? Oh, oh, a huge release German to James Wolf. Going for the cover. One, two. Oh, oh so well timed. Vertigo seeing Olsen coming in. Oh, oh. Delivering a huge shot to the back ahead of Ethan Olsen. Right on Ethan's head there. Wolf is turning Vertigo around. He's going to try to put Vertigo away, but oh no. Vertigo shoving off James Wolf and now throwing Ethan Olsen oh. right into James Wolf. Oh, I can't believe he's using him as a weapon, Chris. Absolutely. As the Wolves of Odin are now on the outside of the ring. Vertigo tagging in JD as he drags in Ethan Olsen. Oh no. Oh, oh. Going for oh what a clothesline from JD. Oh no. I, this looks like this is it for Ethan Olsen, Chris. This I don't could, like this. This definitely could be the end. Oh! Huge running front kick as Vertigo drags Ethan Olsen to the center of the ring. The cover one, two, three. This one. Is over. And your winners of the match, J.E. and Vertigo. As Vertigo gets the pinfall there on Ethan Olsen, absolutely coming in clutch as J.D. was just trying to survive. I, I just can't believe this. I just can't believe it. Vertigo shoving. Ethan Olsen into James Wolf like he's some kind of weapon there. I, I just can't believe that. I mean, th does he do that in baseball? I mean, like you say, when opportunity arises, you have to take advantage. Oh, what, 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 what's going on back there? It looks like the Wolves of Odin are just going at it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, they couldn't take the loss. Now both men just beating on each other. This is just devolving into, into just a street fight. What is going on with the Wolves of Odin? Man, some strong words there from. Oh. Ooh. That's all you are, the coward. I made you. I made you who you are. Well, looky there. <laughs> that just went just smoothly. Of course, JD and Vertigo. There they go. Beating up the Wolves of Odin. Wolves of Odin had that match in the bag until Vertigo threw Ethan Olsen into James Wolf. And look what happened. Look what happened there. Looks like the Wolves of Odin are no more now. I, I don't know what happened afterwards. There was some footage that supposedly was documented, but... That footage I heard was damaged. Someone forget to forgot to hit the record button, actually. I don't know. Chris, can you explain why you didn't hit the record button? That's what I thought. Nothing. No explanation. But you've seen right there what's already been documented. Now, the Wolves of Odin are no more. So they're not the number one contenders. For the Riot Tag Team Championship. We're going to have to look for some new contenders. For those titles. But you know Sean Scott and Chico Adams. Of the Pyramid are going to defend those titles. And they're going to keep them. Because that's who they are. They're the Tag Team Champions. And there's nothing going on. 
There's no problems with Sean Scott and Chico Adams in the pyramid. The pyramid's just fine. The pyramid's just dandy. It is it's just perfect. But JD and Vertigo, you guys got the win over that one right there. I was looking forward to seeing you guys square up in the ring against each other. Mr. Showtime had a good match plan, having you guys go after each other and see who the better man is. But the Wolves of Odin had some problems and a dispute they had to take care of. And what better way than what Mr. Showtime making it into a tag match? But the Wolves of Odin just couldn't get along. So they've howled off into the night. No more. But action like that, you could see every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific right here on Riot Pro Wrestling's YouTube. And you can check out next week's match. Next Friday, we have the center Christian Mills defending his Young Lions Championship against Rafael Delgado. Don't want to miss that matchup right there. Christian Mills putting that Young Lions Championship on the line again. As Mr. Showtime is trying to take that championship away from the center Christian Mills. And he will get that title, Christian. I guarantee it. You just wait. Your number's coming up, man. But besides that, be sure to check out our next live event that you can attend to. Riot Pro Wrestling presents Rebellion Saturday, May 11th at the Volusia Mall next to the Thunderbox and the old Sears Outlet at 1700 West International Speedway Boulevard in Daytona Beach. Tickets are available at eventbrite.com. Doors open up at 3.45, showtime at 4 p.m. Ringside tickets are 20 bucks. Second row is 15 General admission is $10. You don't want to miss that event right there from Riot Pro Wrestling. And that's about it. Well, actually, no, it's not. You want to follow more Riot Pro Wrestling? Be sure to follow us on social media. You can follow Riot Pro Wrestling over on Facebook at Riot PW. Instagram, Riot PW Official. On X, Riot PW Official, and right here on YouTube, Riot PW 3628, bringing the latest and greatest from Riot Pro Wrestling. And that's it for this episode of Afterburn. Maybe Chris Carnage may show up. I don't know. You just have to tune in next week. If not, you're stuck with me again. And if that's a bad thing, don't watch. But it's a good thing because I bring you the latest on Riot Pro Wrestling. I'm Everly. I'll see you next time for another episode of Afterburn.